Alright, we back. We back with another video. Um make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Uh I'm just in the process of um cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, all that good shit. So anywho, make sure you guys, like I said before, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And um we're close, we're close to the end of the year, man. We're getting closer and closer. I'm just going to keep feeding y'all videos, content, all that good shit. Just, you know, steady on the hustle, steady on the grizzly. Anywho, without further ado, y'all see the title. And I spoke about it on my last video. Um, it was the video with me talking briefly about the Drake, Kendrick, rap battle shit. And then I'll uh, pretty much give y'all a rundown of how my night went the night I went to the strip club. So, check this out, right? So, I check out my bank. I check out one of my uh, accounts, right? Any nigga, even... I ain't gonna even say females, because, you know, females, y'all coming with us. You know what I'm saying? But any nigga that go to the club... I should have thought this off rip, but I don't know why I was not thinking at the time. We was just trying to find a way... I ended up getting scammed out of thirty dollars, right? So check this out, right? So, um, for those that didn't watch the past video that I did, I went to a strip club. I haven't been to a strip club in about six years. Only reason why we popped out to go to the strip joint, we was trying to find a small. We was trying, me and D was trying to find a way for the night. Uh, wasn't much going on. Uh, what was it? Last Friday we went out. Friday, Saturday, wasn't much going on. Or popping out. I think it was Friday. Wasn't much going on. We went to the joint. Uh, as y'all know, as I said previously in the videos, this happened to be one of the most popping club, I mean, popping strip joints in the city. So we ended up popping out. It was good, good vibes, all that good shit. Anywho, fast forward, we got food. I my, I paid, I paid for the food for me and bro. Feel me? Um, so the bill ended up coming out to like fifty dollars or whatever, right? Was it? No, I'm lying. It came out to like forty and change. I got wings, fries. D got some. Uh, what he get? I think he got some like crawfish or whatever. You know, some some calm shit. Nothing too crazy, right? So y'all know how y'all get y'all receipts, right? And it shows you on the receipt. You get a copy for yourself, and then the waitress gets a copy. So um, the copy for the waitress. You have the total balance, and then underneath that, you have how much you want to tip. So I thought she did a good job. She's a cute girl. You know, she doing her thing. She hustling. She getting her money, whatever. So I'm like, me and bro, I was like, yo, let's throw up 10. I was going to be generous and throw up probably like, you know, maybe $12, 11 Because I understand the hustle. I understand the grind. So I'm not knocking it, right? So the bill overall came out. I have the exact number in my phone because i'm gonna give y'all a little insight so since i have a business this is a little gem for y'all so since i have a business everything that i do when it comes to food i might i might break it down more into details as the channel gets bigger and bigger but anytime whether i do um let's say food buying food or transportation such as Uber, Lyft or whatnot, or rental vehicles and stuff like that is all tax writers under the brand, under the business. So this would be considered like a somewhat of a business meeting, which I did. And it's a tax write-off. So I dropped, uh, it was 43, I think it was 43.48. But mind you, I just said I added a $10 tip on the receipt. So the whole balance came out of 53.48, including her tip. So she got her bread or whatever. So... I just found out, mind you, we went out on the 23rd, the 23rd. You know how sometimes the transaction posts up the next day, depending on your bank. I just checked the account literally yesterday. So we are, yesterday was Thanksgiving. I checked yesterday. Yesterday's the 28th. So it's already been almost a week. I checked. I see it's been an $85 charge on my account. So I'm saying to myself, I'm like, yo, hold up. I know damn well I didn't spend drop no damn $85 at a fucking strip club. Which is not an issue. It's just the fact that I have a budget when I go out and I know that wasn't within my budget. That wasn't what I was trying to spend. You know what I'm saying? I already said we was going out to eat and that was that. So, I do the math. So, if y'all do the math, 85 minus, uh, I think it was 85 
Mine is 5348. It's about what, $31 and change? I'm very on point when it comes to finances, so I just want to put that out there. I'm Nigerian. What do you expect? I'm half Nigerian, half Honduran. So I'm always on point when it comes to money management. So I'm like, oh nah. This John scam my shit. So what I'm trying to say is that moving forward, wherever I go out, whether it's a lounge or go to another strip club, if I go in the near future, I'm only going to bring in cash because the scamming is getting out of control now. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, I take accountability. I should have, I did bring cash, but I should have paid in cash instead. But uh, sometimes I, uh, me personally, I don't like carrying cash and it's, Pretty much from a street aspect because, knock on wood, you just never know. You never, you just never know nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Tr cash you can't track a debit card, credit card, prepaid card, anything physical card you can track down. So like I'm in the process of disputing disputing that transaction. So um, you know I understand it's holiday season is. Getting a bit rough for people out here, but it still shouldn't be. It still shouldn't be. It still shouldn't be a, a issue to scamming people. Like if you needed bread, I would. You know, if you needed something, I might. I might look out. I might very well look out for you. I don't know you from a can of paint, but just your aura and your vibe. I might. I might look out. I don't know you. You. One thing about me, you never. You never know what to expect from that. From me. You know, I'm very unpredictable, so you never know what's to come. So, you know, I'm not even mad. I wasn't even mad. I was just like, damn. And these are the same type of broads that would be quick to say you're broke. Not to me, nor I don't really care what people think about me. You know what I'm saying? But I know other dudes might feel away because of ego, pride, and all that, which I have. But in this scenario, I know what I have at the end of the day. So, you know, you calling me that, if that was the case, wouldn't be a problem because that's your opinion. And not saying that she ever did. I'm just speaking in general. So, I mean, that's pretty much it, man. Just, you know, it's, uh, it's grimy season right now for a lot of people, for your everyday folks. So, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to put that out there. This is another video for me. And, hey. We're in the process of getting monetized, so I'll be able to get my bread back. <laughs> Anywho, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, hopefully, this is a lesson for those out there. Um, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much else to say. Uh, it's just unfortunate that that happened. It's pretty sad, but... Anywho, uh, make sure you guys comment. Feel free to um, check out all the other videos that I drop. I will be dropping two more vids for y'all. I'm probably going to be dropping a reaction video. It's been a little minute. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm going to catch y'all. Y'all be safe. Stay sucker free out here. There's a lot of suckers out here. And um, until next time, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. Deuces. D-Swim is out.